lot of trouble here, and so let me try to rephrase the question and tell me whether I've it or not. Um, you're asking how we can get more predictability in the onboard development so that one might plan for features in the or what's the problem. I'm not sure that question has been solved in an open source, you know, previously solved in an open source project of the scope of, you know, not just Hadoop, but all the Hadoop components. Um, certainly in smaller, more focused projects like, you know, HTTP or, um, um, open office. Yeah. Open Office is very long. Uh, uh, you know, various utilities. Um, in those smaller projects, there's often more overlap between the user community and the, and the creator community. Um, and with a smaller number of people, you have less chaos in and the ideas about what features should go in and so on. Uh, Hadoop's a really big, diverse community. That's one of the strengths. Uh, that's why it's taking off and, and becoming the go-to uh, platform for, for business intelligence and knowledge analytics. But it makes it very hard to, to, to do decentralized planning, right? Um, I think you'll continue to see a few uh, companies and this focuses for innovation. I think you'll continue to see a broad scattering of other companies and individuals contributing their own ideas. Um, how do you plan something like that in a decentralized and, and un, uh, unled environment like the, the Apache uh, Software Foundation? I don't know. Um, I have a lot of faith in emergent behavior and, and the ability of, I, I mean, essentially, emergent behavior is when a, a small set of easily described rules generates really interesting, complex results, right? Uh, I, I believe that the Apache way is such a set of rules and that we can continue to produce interesting and powerful uh, innovations in the new platform, but it's probably not going to be an orderly process. Um, those of us who have companies uh, in that business, as I know both our moderator and I, and I do, um, you know, we help impose order, right? And, and to our customers, we provide more, more predictability. But to try to do that in the open source community, I'm really not sure it's appropriate. You know, on the one hand, it would make it easier for downstream projects. But on the other hand, I mean, the fact is, companies that sell software cycle innovation every day in order to meet schedules and, and be predictable. I think it's one of the strengths of Apache that that doesn't necessarily happen. I don't think that it's the Apache first question, but I think that the larger center of all our community, all our community, all our community, all our community, all our users. So, we actually have a basic idea of the process, right? We have lots of other features that come in. Those are features to make all of our systems. And those are features to make all of our systems. But I think that we need to agree and then I have a comment here, um, actually two comments. I completely agree with you that Apache Network reviews to be appropriate. HTTP, okay, Open Office is probably the biggest one that ever been done by Apache Software Foundation. Now that the project is in Apache Software Foundation, and correct me if I'm wrong, they all with integration issues, etc. Right? Pretty much any, any project you can test that you can test that well in Apache Software Foundation. I'm like, say this, which is big enough, has been done in a completely decentralized and way in a modular fashion and works surprisingly. Maybe Apache V is not ready for the project like that. Because 
essentially they have 45 components that has every single one has its own release stream, its own goals, and stuff like that. Maybe Fortin is an answer? Well, you know, Linux is also similar, and you know, being a moderator for the slides, uh, I basically have, you know, uh, half a dozen the slides, uh, that's what is very common. So, essentially, my answer, I guess, with my own question, uh, my answer is to be imposing some level of order is exactly the model that the Linux has called, where everything is decentralized. But the place where it all comes together is called the Linux distribution, because nobody can download kernel from kernel.org, unless you have a Linux kernel hacker, then you absolutely should. Everybody is downloading a Linux distribution. And I happen to believe in Linux distributions, which are completely 100% community driven, and I believe in the other driven distribution that I derive from that. And essentially what Debian is a quintessential example of 100% community driven Linux distribution did to Linux. Apache Jacob is now trying to do to work with it. So that is not a perfect answer. I actually completely agree with that. I mean, you are very unlikely to tell open source developers what to do. No, you can do that, which is very unlikely that they will listen. So you can do your own thing, and that's the best you can do. So the only thing, you know, that was and I and my father, very nice folks, have been doing is Apache Jacob is exactly that. We essentially have been building a hundred percent community-driven open source distribution of the which all of these nice standards, uh, to a certain extent, some to a large extent, like Cloudera and Disco, some to a small extent, like Quirkworks, uh, derive from. And we all benefit as a community, because all of a sudden, we have the place where all of this creative, collective effort will be applied to. It's a place where everybody can get from, just from what we have to real. I mean, it doesn't mean that different ways of managing software. It doesn't mean that different you know, locations of the binary files. We can all collect and solve these issues and deposit the knowledge into something like Bitcoin. So that's that's my answer. We can be moderated with slides. Any any closing thoughts? Because I'm told that now time time is. Think of us as dead. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> any any closing thoughts? Since uh, I told the question, we're running out of time. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. I have a comment. Wow. I have a question. I'm Steve Lucker. I'm a breakfast. You already did my program. I'm Steve Lucker. I just want to point out that there will be a finalist that will be a release of the new tool screen one. See this on the front of the At that point, that is the ideal time for everyone in this room to download it. Build their code against it, find out what breaks, and then complain for every year. Because that is the when it does have a big flag on, that is the time you can get it fixed within a few weeks. Once it goes to release, and then you pull it down and find your code doesn't work, the release cycle is longer, it will take longer. So it's not just a matter of sitting here watching people arguing about when to ship, it's actually you've got to plan about saying, how are you going to come, how are you going to deal with the fact that the version is coming, and what is the best way to make sure that the version of the ship meets your needs. Any, any questions from the audience? Any comments from the audience? Anybody having any thoughts on what we discussed? Alright, well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that concludes our event for today. Uh, again, thank you all for coming. Uh, I hope it was useful. We got something out there. Um, as well, we'll meet again in July, um, and you know, look forward to seeing some of you in HBS1 or Bluetooth. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.